option that if they wanted to run the Warlock in a different position, they could as well. We've seen it mid in the distant past and uh, off lane even occasionally Wings are running it there. I, I don't know if Team Secret are interested in going that route, but it is a possibility. Darkseer taken as well. Just that constant strong presence early on who can get himself into a quick mechanism. The other bands, Slark, a little bit interesting to me. Luna makes a lot of sense given the Shadow Demon. Is it just because of that potential with the Ion Shell on top of it? And can we see Adfinim even replicate that in other heroes? Um, I think that's part of it. Mandara also just plays a really good Slark. It's probably his best hero. So maybe a little bit of a respect band combined with the Ion Shell synergy. Um, but yeah, there are other heroes that, that work well with Iron Shell, and I'll just run at you heroes. Um, not necessarily in the safe line either, but you know, mid heroes as well. But Slark is just a really good example of one, and Madara is very, very good Slark. Team Ooh, and now we have the Morphling picked up, and then the Marana answer. I kind of was wondering if maybe an ET might be a good route here to go for Ad Finum. I feel like it's one of the best answers to a Morphling in general outside of just silences. Do you think that they could go that route, or do you think that this Marana is going to be in that position where they're roaming around with the Shadow Demon finding kills? Um, I'm not sure. I know Thug and Spartan both play the Marana. Um, Reserve time. Yeah, I don't know, to be honest. Um... We'll see, the Murana is not amazing versus the Bounty Hunter. The Bounty Hunter is very good at the stage where Potom is not. Um, Potom you know, is good at ganking early on, putting pressure, um, and you know farming up very quickly. But the Bounty Hunter can stay on top of the Potom, sap her XP, stuff like that. And in that stage where the Potom is sort of weak, you know, level 7, 8, but isn't close to an Ags, the Bounty Hunter is very strong because he has track, and they want to just fight nonstop. And so the Bounty Hunter just sort of like wrecks all of Potom's weaknesses and is good versus all of, po all of Potom's strengths as, yeah. a, as a roamer. So I expect maybe it's a mid, but I don't Well, and it's interesting, too, because one of the ways that you would see... I mean, wherever Marana ends up going, you're probably going to be looking at least for a possibility of, of that disruption into arrow combo, even if it's not like the first and foremost thought and they ban out the invoker. But uh, we can go back to that later. The more important thing now is we've got a, a naked tiny into an anti mage as well. So tiny that's a stun mid. Morphling. You, you think it's a stun morphling? I think so. What makes you say that? Ten Break it down to me. Remaining. I think they, they picked it to bait the Animage. Um, Five seconds remaining. The, the stun morphling is like actually owns Animage so hard. It's almost a, it's such a difficult Reserve matchup. Um, the tiny I think they picked just because they want to go ham and fight people. Um, they haven't picked their carry yet. They show the Animage, so they, I think they're gonna pick some other hero that's good versus Animage, and then just have that be a stun morphling. And then have Warlock, oh, so it'd be an offlane Morphling, like, dedicated, and then have another safe lane hero that gets picked up for secret, is what you're saying? Yeah, I, I think so. Okay, very interesting. I wouldn't mind seeing that at all. If that's not the route, does Morphling just really suffer against the Anti-Mage in the carry role? Um, it's not too bad. Um, the matchup is very dependent on who's ahead. If the Animage is ahead, he absolutely dominates Radiant the Morphling. If the Morphling's ahead, he does fine versus the Animage. Um, but the matchup is typically slightly Animage sided. Okay. Uh, if, and if Animage is ahead, it's massively Animage sided. Okay. Now, that's a, a big problem with that as end up happening in that way. And also, one of the Ten things that we could see is if Morphling plays in an offlane role, you get a couple of track kills that come in, and suddenly you have a bonus Morphling. Why not? It does a ton of damage. Uh, but in the meantime, it's going to be the Kunkka band out. Reserve one of the strongest roaming heroes. It's been interesting to see him. Do you think that that nerf to Torrent was enough to just like push him out of the Tier 1 hero discussion? Um, No, I don't think so. Um... He's, I mean, uh, a lot of it is uh, depending on if you if the team style team likes Kunkka, if they have a good Kunkka player. Uh, but no, I don't think that the, I mean, the nerf is like, it's, uh, it's kind of big, but I don't think it, you know, put him in a place where he's like not pickable first to, um, I think there are like, you know, people are, teams are prioritizing Warlock a lot more, Ten Shadow Demon's still a top tier pick. So I think he's just sort of shifted more to like the second phase, Five slightly seconds. more situational pick. Um, because of those, the, you know, the small nerfs that have been coming through on him. Um, but I think he's Reserve definitely pickable. Time. Okay. Uh, now we're going to get the Earth Spirit taken. Last pick for Ad Finum. Always a very strong roaming hero and probably could get some stuff done against the Tiny. But the last pick from Secret, will it be an offlaner or will it be a carry? 
And you said you like the stun morphling more. Do you still stick with that even in the presence of an Earth Spirit and all these other guys? Yeah, I think so. We'll see. I was right. Oh my god. Yeah, you were right. CC and C was right. At Finham was left. Do you think the Team Secret have outdrafted them? Wait, MP. Wait, what? Hold on. Okay, so it's off -lane It's tiny. an offlane tiny. This is back this was the, the Zhao 8 LGD style. Oh my god. What do okay. you think? Um it's definitely interesting. I wonder how they're gonna I wonder if they're gonna do I don't know what they're gonna do for lanes. Huh. I wonder if he's going to try and do that pull thing. Maybe he's going to have the bounty hunter oh. sit over there and toss the creeps to the bounty in hard camp. That is a possibility. That actually would be really strong. Puppy was able to do that previously on the, the Pudge, obviously, in the mid lane. Um, the other thing that ended up working with this before, you had to have like a ranged hero that was over there. Uh, I guess they need to break the trees too, probably. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> might be able to get into. Yeah, I don't know. Wait. Prepare for battle. Okay, so yeah. Um, yeah, it is off lane tiny. Let's see. <laughs> He's gonna... uh, I wonder how they're gonna lane this. If they're gonna do some sort of dual lane, if the the bounty's gonna go down there. I mean, I guess we're still trying to figure out exactly what it is that they're attempting to do. But do you? Given what we've seen so far, do you like Team Secret's draft more or less than the last game's draft? Uh, I mean, I definitely don't think they outdrafted them. I think the game is just more now. Um, we didn't really talk about the Ember Spirit that much, but um, Ember Spirit as a hero is sort of um, he's sort of weird because he's really strong for a, a you know a few minutes, you know, up to like 15 minutes or whatever. He's he's a pretty strong hero. He's really good at fighting, and then after that, for a long time, he's really weak. So I think Secret's seconds, draft is like. Battle. Very much upon like you know getting early level, getting uh, early farm levels on the Ember, and then like getting track online and just like getting online really really early. This Morphling may come to fight uh, more early on than Morphlings typically do. You know, killing people with Tiny and just like getting really really aggressive. Uh, so it's sort of like the tables have turned almost. Where Advenom is uh, playing more passive this game, and Secret is the aggressor. And interestingly enough, they immediately move out, smoke to this camp, realize that they need to block it off, and they block it at the two ends. So this is not going to get dewarded easily, and I don't even think that they have any sentries on Team Secret's team. Uh, yeah, none bought. So an interesting look. And does Puppy get the courier snipe? Oh, he wants it in a bad way. I don't think that's going to happen, though. You have to know that this is coming, right? Yeah, um, getting your courier snipe is just like of blunder uh, nowadays because Bounty Hunter has been popular for so long it's uh, it's it's really hard to get your courier snipe now. Alright, well doesn't look like it's going to happen as of yet. So you do you like the mid one versus, is there anything specific about the matchup against Marana like as far as damage dealt and burning through that, that flame guard? Uh, I mean they're, they're both going to farm. Um, probably neither one of them can zone the other. The Amber has kill potential whenever he has some levels with the bounty. Um, I don't think the bottom's ever... Probably unlikely that this bottom is killing Amber at any point. Um, you know, even with a rotation from the Earth Spirit. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think they're just gonna farm. The lane seems... it's gonna be pretty even. Yeah, up top... oh, she actually does hit an arrow onto MP and do a little bit of damage. Uh, but yeah, up top it's gonna be the Skylark Darkseer facing off against Pi and actually doing a good bit of damage to him. He is not going to be able to walk away from that one too easily, so... This is a bit of a tough lane up top. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Forev has been zoned out pretty effectively from the lane almost entirely. Uh, and Puppy is just trying to soak up whatever he can from the pole. So this off lane is not going great. And Forev going to take a good bit of damage. Has to throw out the avalanche. Yeah. Um, they do. They did walk the camp. They have the word to see where people are rotating. So they know where the Earth Spirit is. So Forev's probably not going to die in this off lane. But yeah, he may not, may not get too much. Um, early on. Mm -hmm. He's probably going to end up playing around this mid lane though. Because they are committing so many heroes, three heroes to the bottom lane. They're not really going to move around. They can see if the Earth Spirit is going other places. Uh, once the Ember Spirit uh, has some levels, you'd expect uh, Puppy to come mid and probably try and pressure this bottom. Um, she is like uh, when the when the Bounty Hunter has some levels, or when the Ember has some levels, the Bounty has some level two as the Janata. Bottom is definitely killable. Yeah. 
puppy in the meantime is going to go over to the camp and try and deny himself out to some ancients. We also saw Warlock kill himself in the jungle, so all of Secret just not wanting to live anymore. They're going to head back home. Um, and in the meantime, MP manning up against Skylark. He's actually out of mana. And another waveform there. There might have been an opportunity, but don't go for it. And man, Frev has just really been struggling so far. Still stuck at level 2. Yeah, not not the dream game. I mean, he's not doing terrible, you know, two, two, big two and a half, you know. There's, yeah. there's worse, considering they block his pull camp with two wards. Yeah, <laughs> definitely hurts. It could have gone a lot worse. Um, oh, that silence. You gonna find him? Uh... No, that can't get the kill. It, that was so weird. He, like, was, like, right in front of him or something. He just, like, rolled away. If that roll hit him, he might have actually died there. And Iron Shell now on the Earth Spirit as well. Clarity up, and they need a little bit more before they can really go for... Well, maybe they are just going to go in for another initiation. Spartan now out of mana, though. He has enough for another roll, but 10-second cooldown. Needs to get out of there. Surged away. That gank did not go the way that Finham wanted it to. Yeah, this Darkseer isn't really close to his um his soul Ring. He's sort of in a bad position right now. This Morphling is bodying him in the lane, and... He's not going to get his soul ring anytime soon. Only 5 CS, Morphling with 20. So, Darkseer, even though he's got a lot of levels, is not getting very much farm. And Darkseer needs both as an offliner, so. No. Kind of cool. Courier again going to be brought out. It did just boost, and I don't know if they're going to be able to find it on the way back in. They might be able to. Puppy realizes it's there, hits once, needs a second. Not going to be able to find it, though. Really close. Yeah, he put the second point, his second skill point in Shuriken, so no slow on the courier with the Janata. Oh, that hurts. That would have been that would have been money right there, but not able to find it. In the meantime, mid one is gonna be back here again. Didn't throw out enough damage to drop her low enough to make it worried, but nonetheless, still no first blood. Seems like both sides just content with farming. There's uh, it's 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 pretty hard for either side to make a kill happen. Have a lot of defensive abilities. Um, we're playing as wave form, the uh, surge, roll, um, ember, shield, leap. Like everybody's just got a lot of escape tools, and not many heroes with like guns or heroes that are really amazing at rotating. So yeah, there's not too much either team can really on. Oh, they're thinking about it. Puppy is in the area as well. They already throw out the Shadow Ward. Now jump forward from Spartan, but Puppy can get a slow onto one of these guys if they're able to find a good initiation angle. And there's going to be the first Shuriken taught out. They need to slow him down slightly. Chains are going to connect, and that's Spartan going down. So first blood goes the direction of Pi. That's going to help him a good ways there, as he only had an Ironwood branch at the time. Well, that helps a lot. Oh, yeah. Mid one seems to be very active uh, early on. He's really good at these early rotations, TPing like super early on, and make sure he get sh making sure he gets there for the early fights and like turning them around. That's good stuff, I, and that's always been I feel like one of the strongest parts about mid one's play is he's super aggressive, like at every point in the game it feels like. And I was wondering how that was going to work with MP, who you know obviously coming from that MVP Phoenix lineup, how well they were going to do. Uh, playing together, and it, it seems like it's just really worked out well so far. All of the results from their games have been looking good, and well, a roll in, though they have found MP, maybe in a little bit of trouble, switches over to strength form, waveforms out last second. That Ion Shell might have done enough damage if they could just stay on top of that morph a little long, while longer. Yeah, that was pretty close, but the uh, the Shadow were near, so it would've, they would have had to have those Ion Shells on them like, the entire time to get that kill. Right. Oh, Tiny's doing the pulls. Camp's not blocked anymore. Oh, nice. It's a little bit late. <laughs> not gonna lie, but it will secure him uh, at least one of these waves here, which is nice. And then we'll send out a pretty large one afterwards. But it looks like they want to get aggressive again up here in the top lane. There's another surge available, but the wraparound will come from mid one. Does he spot out Spartan? They know they're there. There's no way. Yeah, they see him. All right, there's the catch. Chains oh, onto both of them. Triple remnant forward. Oh man, mid one's pissed. Double kill for him. Easy peasy for the Ember. 
Yeah, once again, just really nice rotation. And they knew both of them were sitting up there trying to set up for a kill. He just walks around, kills. That's nice. I always love seeing the triple remnant. It's like, I don't know, it makes hey, me giddy. Special. Yeah. Good stuff. Well, early stages, seven and a half minutes in. AM still leading the CS mark. And it feels like he's gotten pretty much everything that he wanted. Is this going to be an AM game where he can kind of just take over as we do see MP dropping low, waveform away on nothing, no mana? Skylark should chase this, but... Oh, with Pile I die there, they'll keep him alive. Yeah, waving over that cliff, there was... It was unlikely they'd be able to catch up to him. By the time he got to him, the surge would run out, and the warp would just sort of waddle away. Oh, maybe next time, might just drop here. Disruption? Arrow? Cool, nice move. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. But yeah, dude, is this something that, that Secret need to be worried about? The AM basically free farming down there in the bottom lane, or do you think they have the tools to deal with them a little bit later in the game? Um, yeah, I think at, at some point they do, do need to start like making moves on him, trying to pressure him. Uh, it's just sort of hard at this point. The bounty isn't really six. They are giving him XP mid. Really good. The Ember's just going to jungle uh, until the bounty gets his level six. Um, and then maybe they'll start to do stuff down there when the Tiny gets some more levels. Um, but as of right now, they can't really do that much to him. But if this anti mage gets to where he's where he's ahead, um, he's really good versus the secret lineup. The only hero that's really good versus an anti mage on secret is the uh, the tiny. And that's only if the tiny like is ahead. The anti mage has you know items. He starts getting closer to key items and stuff. Mm. Really longer burst him, and then the anti mage sort of destroys their lineup. Uh, and it does look like he might be going back for the Vlad's route instead. Picked up that ring of regen. It might just be casual, uh, but. Could be what he goes for. Top lane, they're trying to mount some sort of offensive, but they spotted out that Pylai Dai was in the area as well as the Tiny and decide to back out. So nothing really coming of that, and Puppy will just try and keep on soaking up experience to get a six. He does deward that ward, that fresh ward, so pretty big. Oh. Looks like they may be setting up to take this tower bottom. Both the supports are down here. I think they... Well, it's kind of weird because they move up top to try and find a kill against the Morphling, but then they can't really do that. And then, I mean, Anti Mage doesn't really want to fight right now either. It looks like they're gonna smoke. Maybe did they buy one? They have one on their spirit, I think. Oh no! Oh, hmm. Shower demon! Shower demon! Yeah, it feels yeah. a little discombobulated. Yeah, there's not really a, a place where they can really make a kill happen that well. Um, they don't really need to at this point, to be honest. Uh, their anti mage is free farming, their potom is free farming, and like when they get some core items, like this potom gets ags, the anti mage, um, they're able to like fight quite well with their spirit level six and stuff. While the anti mage just around does his own thing, farms. So I think Ad Venom is fine with this uh, status quo, and Secret is the one sure to do something here with like tiny levels with the track that they just got. So Secret's definitely the one on the clock here. All right. We'll see if they can make something happen with it. As you mentioned, Puppy, six in a bit. We'll be able to start spamming out those tracks. And it looks like they're going to be content to just push down this tier one tower in the top lane, which should be going down pretty quickly. I don't know if Adfinum really want to come and contest this. They're going to bring in the Ember and, or excuse me, the, the Darkseer. It's like the rest of them all just behind. Yeah, that's sort of like the uh, what? All right, like <laughs> they dropped the rock, Prev threw him forward, and now the rest of Ad Finum is gonna start showing up. They get the magnetize oh. onto two. That's a dead Morphling, and just like that, a little bit of an overextension for Rev. He just wants his buddy to die. He keeps throwing pie in, and Rev <laughs> might end up going down himself. Oh, Rev very low, not gonna end up dropping there. Puppy trying to run away as well. All right, Pile I Die is just getting bullied a little bit. Now Madara showed up, does have the mana void, might be able to bring down mid one. He's still very tanky and doesn't have the biggest mana pool in the world. Instead, turns on to Puppy. Madara wants him, looking for Forev next. Has a blink off cooldown in just a little while and is going to go forward for it. Madara never stopping, double kill for the AM and should be able to, well, he doesn't actually have a TP. Blinks down to the south and I think he's gone. All right, Frev, <laughs> we need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I was, um, 
Yeah, they, they popped the Moonlight Shadow, they didn't have detection on the Warlock, and so they threw him in golems, and then they pot him ulted away, and then... You know, they've used all their ults, people TP in, and they just turn the gank around. Uh, it was really nice. Rotations, TP's in for everybody. Very quick, a nice stun from Spartan on 2, and then Silence. He's actually maxing the Silence versus the Morphling. He had, uh, maxed the stun instead of the Silence, but I got away, so... An unusual, uh, skill build choice, according to the game, so... It's like actually thinking about your skill build and not just like autopiloting by Spartan. The Morphling kill. It's a great silence, and actually now mid one, doesn't look like they're going to be able to find anything off the back of it. And Spartan might actually go down himself. They have Thug in the area looking for an arrow, something. Shuriken comes out, and that's a track kill going to the Bounty Hunter. So just as we're praising him, he goes down. It's the good old caster's curse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seeker definitely needs more of that because the enemy just battle fear just got online. The bottom is only 1k gold from the uh, from her eggs, so Adfinum is definitely in a very good spot item-wise. So Seeker does have the tools to like make stuff happen with the track. The Ember, um, he's got his level 10, so he's got the skills he needs. Oh he man, thug! There's the remnant forward, and yeah, he's gonna drop. So just like that, two track kills in the mid lane. It it does feel like Adfinum are getting a little bit cavalier with their play. Yeah, the anime is still free farming though, so they're, they're probably okay. Looks like the tiny is gonna heal up and come start a brawl. Oh, rolling boulder in catches the silence onto MP again. Did manage to get off his strength form that time, so will not be going down here. I don't believe. Well, reapplying the magnetize does some damage, but not enough to kill off MP. And it looks like the rest of the side of Adfinum need to run out of there. Skylark controlled and brought down mid one again, finding a kill 4 0 and 3 for him. He's been very active. Yeah, once again, mid one moves early. Um, game. Um, this tiny is, is not really had the kind of impact he, he want from a tiny to have to be on his drums, but. Yeah, the Dark Seer as well. Like, both the offlaners are, are sort of behind right now. Dyer's having amazing tower. game impact, sort of rough lanes. Dark Seer at 3k net worth at 4 minutes is really Radiant's not what you want to see. Yeah, Here that he is. Needs to have a good start. I mean, I, I guess Tiny kind of does as well, but he's at least got his burst combo that's somewhat there. Three points in both Avalanche and Toss. Uh, so there's, there's ways for them to still find damage, but. Looks like they might have found Madara Puppy scouting it out. And if they're not careful, this would be a really huge kill. Mid one looking for it. They drop the rock again onto his head. Can they find the kill? He does not get the blink off. Huge pickup there. And Pi, again, being the beneficiary. Yeah, the Puppy keeps being in the right place at the right time, scouting out these heroes behind towers and stuff, setting up multiple kills. Now they're going to get this mid tower. So. Uh, Dusted? Oh, that was close. They do run into roll. Puppy. Oh, uh, they found him? What? All right. Inside the Sentry Ward range, apparently, Silence on a mid one. Gets the disruption, keeping him alive for the moment. They don't have Ags yet up on Thug, but do have Starstorm available if they want to go for it. Remnant forward, mid one, very bold, is going to be able to find that kill with the chains connecting. Still getting chased down, the right clicks are there. His flame guard is off, runs into the arrow. Oh, well played there by Thug. Finds the angle perfectly and punishes that mid one extension. Yeah, that was a little deep. Oh, and they might have found Pi Lai Dai too. He's going to go down. Well, blink again in a second. Pi, he drops. They who live by the wand. Yeah, that was really nice. The um, arrow, perfectly based story, couldn't walk any closer to the right and didn't have time to walk down, so. Oh, Skylark knows. They realize Frev is there again, connects on the arrow. Thug finding him, tossed up into the air, but Frev is going to be the one brought down. As we say, the secret is, is making moves, executing their draft. Things go vastly the other way. A lot of writing on the map right now. It looks like Puppy isn't too pleased with what's happening. Ruh -ruh. Well, they'll back out of there. We do have the Yasha completed on the Anti-Mage. It's going to keep on trying to farm up and, you know, get in towards that Manta style. If he gets that before the the the, the Morphling gets his E-Blade, how difficult does this game become for that Morph? Uh, it, it gets pretty hard. Uh, it's not even E-Blade. Typically, you don't go E-Blade versus Anti-Mage because you're never going to be able to burst him, and you need to, like, get to the point where you can take a right-click battle. Um, 
So he may go some HOD and like or, or meta or something like that. Go more right hooky items. Go into a build where he can actually trade maybe some. I've seen like Garter and Madara. I think go. HOD butterfly after the Lincolns and just like go like very very right click oriented so they can try and fight the enemy mage. Um, but it's just like once the enemy is ahead, you just burn all your mana and you just die so easily. Which is like Morphling's biggest credit is that it's very hard to kill. Oh my god, Skylark taking some damage. What they get to the disruption, disruption, keeping him alive. Last second, silence on MP. He didn't get his strength form off. He's going to take a lot of damage to this. They might be able to find the kill. He does finally get the strength form off. EM, though, in the meantime, has found Pylai die. And now the chase could continue. It doesn't look like they're going to go for it, though. Everybody else has escaped, and Radiance MP does get out of there. Yeah, he uh, he just barely missed the stun on the um, third spirit, and then the bottom missed his arrow because uh, he was aiming where the he would have been stunned attack. by the earth spirit. So the spell maybe costing them the more flank kill. Maybe he still lived, but would have been close. Mm. Well. We talked about it. Ags on the Marana. What about this Ember Spirit? How does he fit into the whole context of this draft? He's got his bots. Uh, should be able to finish off the Battle Fury for himself soon. Is he something that Adfinum need to be worried about? Uh, not really at all, to be honest. This hero, he, he's past his peak, and so now he's at the point where he has to go farm, and then he's he'll be good again at 45 minutes, so you know, Adfinum okay. doesn't have to worry for you know, quite a while, over 20 minutes, typically. Because um, the hero just like, he doesn't do that much with just a Battle Fury. The Battle Fury is a farming item, then you get like a blink, and that's a mobility item. But then you still don't do that much damage, and you're still easy to kill. It's, the hero um, has very weird peaks, very early on and then very late. So, as of now, I don't really have to be worried about this Ember at all, I don't think. Alright. Well, and I mean, certainly don't need to be worried when your AM is up at 12,000 net worth at 19 minutes in. He is very, very happy at this point in time. Madara, not to mention the Ion Shell on top of him. Kind of a neat little uh, steroid towards his damage potential if they get on top of somebody. Uh, it looks like right now, Secret, want to try and go for a smoke play themselves. Four smoked up. I don't believe that was scouted. And it looks like Frev is going to lead the charge. Aether Lens Tiny. How often do you see that one? Very infrequently. Um, oh. I guess you could toss people really far. They're going to smoke themselves. That is pinged out. Immediately broken. Puppy is going to be found. They're going to go onto the Morphling, get the silence. But three people caught with the rock, the fatal bot. It's doing so much damage. Skylark is going to drop double now for mid one. They get a nice stun through onto several, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. Looking after Spartan, they do find that kill. Triple kill for mid one, and Madara is shocked. My goodness, that was a huge amount of damage done by that. Uh, the Warlock even, jeez. Yeah, that was the dream setup there. The um, track into the three-man stun, rock, everything, the bolt was, that was so much damage. It was, it was the perfect scenario for Secret. God. Yeah, Huge Fatal Bonds swing. is such a great spell. Um, I don't know if they'll be able to catch Madara here. It's like he's just going to be able to push out these creep waves early on hampered. So even though they lose that team fight pretty terrible, well, tossing him in, Madara going to be forced to blink back. This is actually going to work out pretty well into their favor. That toss range work, it doesn't get it. They do wow. find the kill. Oh, man. That are, with, with Avalanche toss and chains, they managed to control that AM. Yeah, he uses uh, his Manta before oh, to... Oh, counterplay though. On to two, silence, doing a ton of damage. They find another combo. Mid one might go down himself, reapplying Magnetize. All right, Spartan mixed together with Skylark. They are making the plays. That was great. Yeah, with the double star fall on top as well. This game is a roller coaster ride of cores dying. Gracious. <laughs> It sort of feels like that Liquid series earlier, too, where you, you get a pretty substantial lead and then suddenly it gets thrown away off of just a little bit of mispositioning and underestimating your opponents. Yeah, and also a lot of it is the, is the teams realizing whenever cooldowns are down, um, um, or uh, taking advantage of it, um, taking fights whenever they have the opportunity and they have the upper hand. And, you know, it's, it's not all of, like, mistakes and stuff. A lot of it is... You know, at Finnem realizing that, hey, Rock's on cooldown. He, uh, the Ember Spirit's low on spirits, so he can't really get away that easily. And taking good fights, turning it around, and you know, getting map control back, creating space again for the enemies to farm. Push well, 
it's led us to a like you said roller coaster ride of a net worth graph and experience and we're back to about even as far as the way that this game is going to continue to evolve from this point on do you have a side that you're sort of favoring at this point or that is more happy with the game um i think ad Finum is uh in a in a chill position in the game like they're they're still able to just sit back and farm um you know like play defense play um they're, they're not forced to be the aggressors they don't have to um to make moves they can just react to what secret does um counterplay all their moves and they should be fine oh, okay. oh madara manning up but it's gonna be brought down maybe next time not able to save him with that disruption and suddenly he is going to drop himself so a little bit overestimating how much damage they were doing uh they don't quite get the courier kill either yeah, he pumped his Manta early. I don't think he realized there were more heroes there. I thought he was just tiny, and, or I think he thought it was just tiny and was trying to get the kill, and then pumped his Manta, and then everybody else showed up, got bullied, and that was all. Jeez. Well, that is a terrifying point in this game, when you just end up losing your anti-mage for not a whole lot, but Adfinim still pushing out these lanes and going for the pressure on the Tier 2 in the bottom lane. Frev... Still no blink dagger as of yet, but they could just find a kill here if Rev is not careful. If he goes this next wave, they probably will get this. I love this ward as well. Oh, and there it is. Rolling boulder misses. Does get the silence, but oh, he would have loved to find that one. Yeah, looks like they're trying to turn it around, but they got it really quickly. So it should be fine. Oh, Bart Puppy? maybe goes down here. Oh, they they need to be careful. Thug is going to scout out this movement in, and there's the rolling boulder. TP tosses the creep, but won't find the kill. Oh, they have a sentry here. If he doesn't know, they may walk into it and die. He might just go for the courier snipe himself. I think that they're going to go courier snipe, and then afterwards leap TP, and should be able to find it. Yeah, just going to give it a little walk back home. Oh, no, really? Thug, go get the courier! <laughs> Yeah, he thought he was gonna snipe the core. He was gonna cut the wave, and then he saw the courier. Oh, he's getting pinged! <laughs> Here come the pings. They realize what's going on. Oh, jump forward! <laughs> God, fuck! Yeah, go, go, go home. Just think about what happened. We'll get it next time. Yeah, I think Spartan was there. Maybe next time was the one he aimed. So, a little bit of what happened in the Liquid game. Oh, they found Puppy. Oh, uh, missed the kick. There's been some, uh, maybe there's some ping issues going on in the EU servers. Mid one takes a little bit of a ion shell damage as he passes by. Didn't look like he noticed though. And looks like that's gonna do it. They yeah, actually completing a whole pipe, so actually pretty huge. It's like a major portion of that venom's damage. Yeah. Especially with the changes to uh, to the cooldown on Potom's eggs, like I said before, she's uh, she's much more of a bursty hero with the pipe uh, mitigating that initial damage. It makes the Potom like a lot weaker in team fights. And I guess that these five on five team fights, it, it almost feels like Adfinum needs to be in these scrappy like two on three or so engagements. Um, otherwise, they're just going to kind of lose to the Warlock ulti. But yeah, they were. Gonna... Oh. Oh, Spartan. Yeah, they were in such a good position, and they took that terrible, or they got destroyed in that fight mid. A couple of pickoffs, now they're in a position where they, they really can't fight them that well anymore. The fight is so strong, they have the pipe now, they still have the rock. Playing is starting to get to some items, so... Kind of just have to wait for this anti mage to get to, uh... Where he just destroys everyone, pop into like an E-Blade around there, um... Venom's definitely... Really needs to play it safe for now, or try and find some pickoffs, some sloppy, some some skirmishes, like you said. Ooh. Well, four heroes in the top lane, and it looks like Tiny will join them as well. Meanwhile, Marana left alone in the mid lane, and everybody says, "Get the hell out of here! We don't want to hang out anymore." And they will escape. So, Adfinum continuing to dodge fights, but pulling Secret around the map. They're doing a good job of it. Yeah, after those kills, Secret up like 3k or something, but with all the, the fight dodging, slowly starting to uh, to pull it back. That's just sort of how this game has to go for Adfinum. If they can dodge the ganks, if they can sniff off the, um, the rotations from Secret, then they can probably call their way back into this game. 
the enemy just gets items, they're able to take you know fights more easily. But they're, it's it's definitely very tricky. Um, because Secret is just going to be hunting them for the next quite a while. Well, and now, Invis, Moonlight, Shadow. Let's see if Adfinim can turn the hunt around, but I don't know. It just it, it doesn't really feel like it, it, you you sort of don't want to get into those fights like we were talking about and. I guess that those are just escape mechanisms with the Moonlight Shadow. But it definitely feels like Team Secret need to find some way to pressure themselves. Um, or do you think that they just feel comfortable with the game going later until we get like another big damage item up on mid one? Uh, I think Secret's timing is, is around now. They're they're much stronger than... I mean, if this game does go late, Potom and Animage both get items. Um, there's a period where this anti mage is just insurmountable and is going to just destroy Secret's lineup. So I think Secret is, is definitely the still one, still the one pressured to uh, to make moves. But um, but it's not as much of a scary. You need to pressure um, so much as a hey, we we should probably pressure. Oh, maybe next time as well as Madara in the area, they should be able to save one of these two heroes. And it looks like they are going to try and head out of there. They drop oh. the ward. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Balls of steel for maybe that next time. Hanging out in the spiral. trees. Do they spot him? Pile I die? TP? <laughs> they don't get him. Oh man. <laughs> maybe next time. And I mean, Madara here too. He knows that everybody from Team Secret's in the area. He's going to finish off the wave, try to escape. In the Ember meantime, the Ember Spirit just went down in the bottom lane. Do they get Madara out of there? Trying to TP. They drop the rock. All right. No more TP available. They have the track onto him. Needs to blink out. And well, I think that this is is eventually still going to be a dead AM, but in the meantime, Whoa. you take a look at the bottom barracks and they're doing a good bit of damage, starting to take down that tier three tower. Does Madara actually escape? He's gonna what? live. What? Oh, what? And peacekeeping, and peacekeeping. <laughs> they want it. Oh, adaptive strike, blink again. Spartan in the area trying to help out his buddy and they're not gonna be able to do it. Meanwhile, Spartan gonna TP out of there. How did Ember die? I guess oh. he just, uh, he poured it in, got silenced, and then bursted by the kick and the star falls. Oh man, how much worse can that go? You don't find the Shadow Demon, you don't find the AM, you lose your Ember Spirit, and everybody's just run around like chickens with their head cut off. Yeah, now all the lanes are back in, this Animage is gonna have a couple more minutes of farming time, um, gonna get it to whatever his next big item is. Um, much more quickly, already has the Abyssal Blade, so that exchange was like, good for Ed Venom. That's the point where you question mark, I think. That's the question mark play. <laughs> but <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a classic. You get chased from the uh the top tier one all the way around the map. Oh, and Race. they've got eyes on forever right here too. They're thinking about it. Oh man, Madara really wants to go, but yeah, they spot out the rest of the side of secret and they're not gonna they're not gonna go for it. Okay, so they do find the ward. Hmm. They knew they had eyes on him. Yeah. Well, Thug is going to keep this bottom lane pushed out. Tier 3 almost gone, and... Looks like as the Morphling rotates in, they actually are forced to back out. But anybody that comes up here takes a ton of damage from that Marana combo. Yeah, and the enemy is still pushing top now again, so... Getting close up to this top tower, going to farm out the enemy jungle. Continue to accelerate his farm, and maybe even this top tower if they don't... Uh, take people because MP doesn't have an illusion up there and his TP is down to the bottom, so he's gonna have to get this tower up. Oh man, playing them, it's just like, it's like a marionette right now. Ad Finum are kind of just taking over this game, and I, I like this decision by Secret to go in and take Roshan, but I don't know, I kind of wonder if they're gonna have to like give up a little bit more here, even. Ad Finum knows what's up, they're gonna, they're gonna force them out, I think. This is, that roast is really slow. Oh man, this they really hurts. Yeah, and they're all coming back. It, they they realize they can't do it, so... Mm. Oh, just more wasted time. The Shadow Demon Illusion spam. Oh man, what a hero. Bottom lane being pushed in as well. Oh, no, Thug's able to draw right. a couple. Meanwhile, off to the side, they're not Dyer's able to find anybody else. Is Thug going to get out as well? TP, any way to break it? Nothing. Ooh. He's gone. Meanwhile, wow. over on the other side, you've got top lane. They're going to push back in Skylark. The stun onto mid one. They do drop the rock. Connects on a three. Skylark vacuum wall dropped onto two. 
and that should be enough to secure the tier three tower. In the meantime, maybe next time is going to drop. So they lose two, but they take the tier three tower and continue to draw a secret all around this map. Yeah, any mage only 300 gold away from his BKB now, so whenever he has that, he's he's basically unkillable. Um, unless he gets, they, they find a way to chain stun it before he gets his BKB up. Ooh, mid one. He may gonna have to run it out. He almost died. That was really close. Man, this is rough. Uh... This is the scariest bit for an Ember, because you want to to get a damage item, but this animate is gonna have kill potential on you, solo the kill no matter what until you have a Lincoln Sphere. So it's this sort of gross position where you need survivability and you need damage, and you're not good at either of them right now. Rev is being scouted. He does take down that ward, but that was the blink forward, and now they realize he's in the area. He is dead. Okay. They ping it's out the, the mid pings. ones there as well. Hmm. Questionable plays. Yeah, getting a little over aggressive going for the ward. Potom has E Blade now, so a lot more burst damage hurt. Oh man, and now Roshan going down. I mean, they have track on the anti-mage, but how do you even stop this? Warlock ulti is still down for a little while now. 70 seconds, and they're just taking Roshan. And he is tracked, so they know he's real slow, but not oh. too much they can do about this. They have Arrow. the rock. Uh, Arrow connects. They aren't wanting to go in as of yet. Puppy keeps on throwing out those tracks. Adaptive Strike goes in, but meanwhile, Skylark silenced is thinking about going back in again. They have the vacuum, doesn't connect onto anybody, but E Blade onto Pile Die. He is going to drop somewhat low MP now, turned upon as well. Doesn't have strength form. He's going to be able to mid style away, and now the Avalanche toss combo comes through. BKB pop from Adara. They do finally drop that wall on the other side of the fight. It looks like they're going to be able to take down the Shadow Demon. So double kill for MP, and in the meantime, the rest of Adfinum need to back out. At least for the moment. Brev looking for the Marana, not going to be able to find her. Just Three heroes left alive. And it looks like Secret want to try and secure the last little bit of Roshan for themselves. Arrow? Arrow? Uh, oh. Mid one? Can they go on this vacuum wall? Oh, look at the high ground! Alright, they're stuck up there for a moment, tosses the Ember out of there. Okay, maybe they can take something else off the back of this? It doesn't look like they want to go for it, though. Alright. <laughs> We've, we've still got Skylark, who is uh, oh, causing some issues. Gambling. Another arrow onto Perev. He's dead. Oh, you were stuck up there, Tiny. And now it looks like it's time for them to secure Roshan for themselves. Thug and Skylark are keeping Ad Finum in this. Yeah, that was a huge vacuum. They, um, they got really aggressive. Skylark blinked up there, and then everybody sort of split, and he didn't have a way to vacuum wall um, in the initial fights. And it broke up a bit, Animage had to waste his BKB to survive and wasn't able to use it to initiate and like kill people in the duration. Sort of wasted that, and the fight was looking pretty good for Secret, but then they tried to go back in for the Roche, a little greedy, and everything sort of sort of collapsed. This is starting to feel like Adfinum are pulling away with it, and I, I don't know how exactly you try and take this fight now, because they're pushing down the tier 2, they're gonna be able to take probably... I mean, can they pressure with the Aegis and just send Illusions in to take down the Tier 3? Um, maybe. The the Morphling is going to make a Replicate and, um, and send it on the Animage Illusions, so they're going to get killed pretty quickly. Um, they do have this top lane open, though, so they may end up just going here and forcing them back. Well, toss back in onto Pile I Die, tracked, blinks back, stun onto 3, nicely played there as well. Spartan. And this team alive and good, and like you said, there's the replicate of the Anti-Mage Illusions back line. Mid one is there on top of maybe next time they drop the ulti onto Abyssal Blade. Mid one dropping low is going to be able to remnant out of there for the moment, though. Silence onto a couple, but the Guardian Greaves will take that off. Pi does still have Chaotic Offering. If they want to drop it, they find another kill. Oh, mid one able to take down one. That's our spirit gone. So they were not protecting their back line. They're they actually going to do that? All right. Broken the TP, in some trouble, have a toss combo, Marana drops. Become peace. Animage going ham, the Rex goes down. Yeah. Range Rex goes down top as well. I mean, they're making it work. 
And Ember found him again, the Shadow Demon. He's gone. All right, so at the end of the day, you lose three, but you take down the melee barracks, you take down the range barracks up top. A very chaotic fight again, and Secret are kind of just getting pulled all over the place. Yeah, they're, um... This oh. is exactly what... Oh. I can't find it. Yeah, this is exactly what you have to be scared of with the draft with uh with Ember and Tiny and Morphling cores versus an anti mage. I guess to the point where this is sort of the stage where anti mage is just ridiculously strong and they have don't really have a way to deal with him. He's an Aegis, they can't burst him down because he's a BKB. And uh he just sort of three be roams and you know, does that. Oh, Frev. He might end up going down here. They have the mana void onto him. They did already lose the Earth Spirit though, has magnetized onto several of them. It's reapplied, going through that stone. Skylark controlled for the moment. He gets the vacuum back onto several. It does not though end up dropping down that wall. Still on cooldown while AM's gonna push out top. He didn't he didn't uh, he did end up going moonshard and eating it, so attack speed. No. That means he doesn't have buyback for now. So there is still a chance that, you know, Secret find him and kill him off here. This would be pretty huge. Yeah, I don't think there's a way they kill him twice, though, considering the BKB, the magic resistance, Manta, uh, and the Aegis. It seems pretty unlikely they're able to bring him down twice. Their only disables really are the, uh, is the Avatos and then the Rock. And you can't drop Rock twice, so... A very action-packed game, and it does sort of feel like now Secret are lacking that extra little bit of control, as you mentioned. Um, Tiny is going for the Chrysalis. If this is a Bloodthorn, do you like that pickup? Or do you think that he goes Daedalus here? It seems like they need more control for the AM. Yeah, I think Bloodborne is actually quite good here. It's also good versus the bottom. Uh, well, she has BKB now, so it's less good. Uh, but eventually, it'll get good later. Um, oh. They found the Avatoss on the Spartan and maybe going to kill off Pylai Dai, leap forward, still controlled, and they have been able to kill off that Earth Spirit. Meanwhile, the Morphling jumps forward, has found Thug, going to do a lot of damage with the right click. He does have those items now, which make it really hard to deal with. The AM, though, dismantles Forev on the Tiny, so trading off heroes. They lose that Warlock, and that actually is pretty huge. They don't have Chaotic Offering now. Yeah, the thug extended a little bit to the right side of the fight instead of uh, collapsing on the tiny. So they are even on heroes, even though they don't have golem. So kind of may not be able to get our axe here, even Dyer's though the fight was pretty good fallen. for them. Oh, does seem rather tough, but maybe just going to be comfortable spending those illusions. I mean, th these barracks are already exposed across the board. Aegis did just expire, and man, mid one is starting to hit hard. A little bit of miscommunication there. They killed the Ember. He had gotten the Abyssal off there. Mm. Well, it definitely feels like it's still in Ad Finem's wheelhouse where they can kind of do what they want. But what's the play that gets Seeker back into this and, and builds their lead back up? Um, they just have to counter initiate on in these fights, keep taking uh, fights like that, hoping people will go for the, you know, the wrong targets. They're able to sort of isolate people. Um, and, you know, counter-initiate with a rock. We'll try and keep Pilot Eye alive so we can actually get it off. Because um, they can't really initiate fights. They, they, they're they not really heroes they can burst that easily. Like, if you, you know, use your spells and you burst uh, Shadow Demon or Earth Spirit, it doesn't really change the fight that much because the anime is the pot in the Dark Series still just go kill everybody. Right. So they, they're, they're definitely on the defensive, and there's not really that many ways they can make aggressive moves. Also because all their lanes are pushing in, they're down racks, and the Animage pushes out the lanes so fast, as well as the bottom. Well, see how it goes. Bounty Hunter has himself that Solar Crest. I, I guess the other thing is just max out damage potentially on the Ember Spirit. Is, do you think that this is going to be going back for that MKB since we already have the Eagle Song on the, the AM, or do you just go balls to the wall and take the Rapier? Um... I think you have to go the MKB. Uh, well, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe you do just go for the Rapier because the the Animage, you're not going to be able to kill him in a burst anyway. So you sort of just have to kill the rest of his team and then leave the Animage for last and lock him down. So I think he may actually go the Rapier here. It's just sort of risky because Animage is always going to be able to solo kill you. So if mid one does go for that Rapier, he's going to have to play very, very crisp Dota. Yeah. 
And I guess eventually for Ev2, finishing off that Bloodthorn, you could get that onto AM, and then you all of a sudden have the way to still hit him regardless of that butterfly. But man, these illusion spams, it is it is a hard life right now for Secret to deal with these, because like the, they don't have anybody really that deals with them well. Yeah, they do not have any illusion killers, except for Ember, and Ember's not good at killing Shadow Demon illusion, he's good at killing flocks of weak illusion, like <laughs> a couple strong ones. Yeah, absolutely. And in the meantime, Arrow, whoo! Always a scary setup if they happen to find it on mid one, who is getting ever closer to either that MKB that we were talking about or thinking back for the rapier. But regardless, it is a, a tough life right now. Oh, it is an MKB, okay. Alright. Goes to oh. safe choice. Probably the better one. We'll see if it ends up paying off. They're taking down that Morphlin Replicate, the waveform forward, trying to bring him down. Vacuum wall onto Floral. They get the wall a little bit too late, and now Ember's starting to do a bit of damage. They bring Skylark fairly low, but not dead as of yet. Meanwhile, the Ember Spirit, or Earth Spirit, excuse me, is going to be able to escape him. Meanwhile, top lane also. Madara taking it low. They have the track onto him and dealing a good bit of damage. Is it going to be enough? They get the toss last second. A huge stone gets thrown out, though. Spartan saving the AM's life. Is it going to be for not, though? They do finally take him down. Mid one in the end with the pickoff. They also find the Earth Spirit. So it looked good for a moment, but at the end of the day, they do lose that AM. And thinking about finding Thug, do they get him? No, not gonna be able to. Yeah, the Animage is, is basically six slotted now, so he's sort of getting to that peak where he's not really gonna get much stronger, but this Morphling, you know, he's got his Butterfly now, he's gonna get probably a Satanic next, and this is where the Animage has really, like, has issues killing this Morphling because he doesn't have MKB anymore. Um, and Seeker has better team fights, so once the, once the Animage factor, Ooh. like, him should oh be invincible. Toss back in, Thug in some trouble. They back him onto two, but can they find this kill? He's oh, pretty low. They get the disruption. That's going to be some Morphling Illusions thrown back at him. And the E-Blade combo goes out, connects onto Ferev as well as the Arrow. And now he's taking a lot of damage from those Morphling Illusions. They turn on to him, turn to take down Puppy as well. Doing a ton of damage. Marana forced to buy back. Secret is doing it. Mid one takes down the Dark Seer. Suddenly, you have to buy back on everybody. Puppy is going to drop, so they don't want to overextend and end up losing a bunch of heroes here. But with Anti Mage, no buyback for another little while. Secret threatening. Yeah, the um, Ember has gotten to his critical peak where he's finally strong again. He has a lot of damage items. The Morphling. So oh, E-Blade, he went a lot of damage items, so he, now he can actually trade with the Animage. The Animage can't really destroy the Morphling anymore. And with the with the Rock and the, the Tiny Disables, Adfinim's sort of falling off to because this the, um, the Earth Spirit Silence isn't as um, consistent anymore. The Rock is hard to hit in these chaotic fights, and Secret's just taking advantage of these fights with the track vision, the movement speed. Um, just, just playing these fights better, um, and their heroes are also just stronger now. Um, I find them sort of their timing a little bit. Oh man, and just missing that Roshri spawn as well. We'll see if anybody from Adfinum happens to spot it, because it is going to be back up now. And yeah, it looks like Thug will realize it's there. So pings come out. It does look like secret. Uh, I mean, they have to come and contest this, right? Will they be able to even get there in time, though? They uh, might. It's going to be pretty close. I think they should make right. it. All right, Rock available. They're ready to drop it. Wards are in the area as well. Forev drops the Avatos combo. They drop the Rock onto three. Doing a good bit of damage Whoa. with the vacuum wall onto four. Everybody's going down. Oh, MP, is he going to be able to get out of there? Pile Eye Jai taking a ton of damage from Madara. Stun goes out onto MP. Triple kill for him. Trying to take down this Morphling. Do they have enough damage? It looks like they will. Morphling buys back immediately into the game. Murano was able to find that kill. And now mid one trying desperately to keep the rest of his team alive. Man, oh man, 8,000 gold swing. And <laughs> the, the anti-mage did 8,000 damage in that fight almost. Meanwhile, Marana takes down the Earth Spirit in towards the Roche Pit. Madara trying to kill it off. They missed the arrow mid one, spots him out. Still doing damage to this side. Oh, MP is here. They find him and get the Abyssal Blade onto mid one. He is going to drop. Uh, MP, if he dies, 
He's in trouble. Arrow, Arrow connects. Oh, strength form switch over. MP's gone, and they might have just done it. Good oh, game, won. well played. Ends up getting called before MP even dies. Talk about lack of faith. They end up bringing him down, but man, oh man. Skylark. That was that was what they needed to do. Seven thousand damage was actually dealt in the end by the AM in that one fight. Um, really, really good stuff. So, Adfinum they pull it back. They win game number two.